saying about 110, 100, 110, 120,000 yeah, people a year. Right, into 99 square miles. And one reason why this is such a popular entrance point, mm -hmm. one is the PCT. So we're at Echo Lake right here. Yes, right. it's part of the Tahoe Rim Trail, right. so you've got all that happening here. Right. And it's a less steep climb into the desolation than the way you all went. Yes, it was. It was a. <laughs> it's Cause nice to come out this way. Yes. As opposed to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you came in at Eagle. At Eagle, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so that's one of the steeper climbs. Yeah. So we. What did we do? So we came in at Eagle. Where's Eagle? Eagle. Right, right here. Eagle is there. Yeah. And we. Let's see. First came in and did first night at Lower Velma. Okay. Then we went up and we did. Let's see. Where's. Uh, not Rubicon, but we went to... Okay, so then we went up and did Lake Genevieve. Oh. Then we came back down through here, stayed yeah, in middle... Phipps Pass. Yeah, went through Phipps yeah. Pass, stayed right. in middle Velma. Okay. And then uh, we came down and stayed in Susie. Where's Susie? Susie's uh, right over here. Where is it? Susie, Susie, yeah, okay, right so here. then we came down, came down to Susie. Yeah. And then where the Great Waterfall is. Yeah. Which is awesome. Okay. And then we were originally going to come out... And, and stay here, and then we, we camped all the way down and realized we were outside of the wilderness, and we went back up and oh, stayed at Tamarack. they really go wild when people camp outside the wilderness. <laughs> That's what here. we were told. Yeah. So then this morning we just came out, so yeah. yeah, so that was it. So just as another suggestion, too, with mm -hmm. a little less backtracking, right, right. if you all had gone in at Makes, mm -hmm. you would have had this whole string of lakes. Oh, you could cool. have popped into Middle Velma, cool. come across the Velma Lake Trail, keep coming across you could have come out rock bound oh cool okay it's just another way to go cool you know? and so what, what are the big, biggest management challenges that you guys have right now besides just a gazillion million people well, and all I'll that tell stuff you what's making me crazy is the continued um, campfire rings you know there's no fires and so then we have to pack out the ash one to get rid of the idea that you can have it and it just so right now you guys are having that right now even though with all the restrictions well, and the summer yes, fires no. and everything it's just like what are they thinking yeah. you know um, and it destroys it just damages the granite yeah. mm -hmm. you know you can't get rid of that carbon you know you can flip the rocks around and then you know the yeah. people come in and build these pizza ovens so I can't get down uh, yeah. mm -hmm. now that and people do not dig cat holes Mm. Yeah, we At discovered all. that. Discovered that a lot. <laughs> Some places like toilet paper here, toilet paper there. You know, and then I'm packing it out or having yeah. to bury somebody else's stuff. Right, yeah. right, you know, right. It's like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. We saw a lot of toilet paper. A lot of toilet paper. Yeah. You know? Yeah, or, it's crazy. You know, feminine hygiene products. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. it's just yeah, yeah. like, it's so destructive. Right, yes. So well. we passed a ton of people doing the PCT, like, like long lengths of the PCT. Yeah. So do they have to get an additional permit every time they come to the no, wilderness? They just get one they get that covers one permit everything. That covers the whole thing. Takes okay. Them through all the jurisdictions. Okay. And okay. it's the same for the Tahoe Rim Trail. And are we supposed to check? Can so I just our, take our one of these permits? yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not, not a permit. One that's sorry. One, uh, right. Right in oh, here. There in you go. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Fill out the bottom. Take the top with you. Okay. So yes. our um our our exit date was today. Um, are we supposed to check in with you guys when we exit? No. So as long as we yeah followed the plan. Found you another night, right. and they'd be asking you what happened. Right, 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 right. right. Cool. And yeah. the most popular time is obviously summer. Yes. Or is spring more happening? You know, but in the middle of the week, it can be quite dead here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And then it's really. I mean, it's lovely. It's yeah. a lovely yeah. spot. Yeah. And so most people are just doing day hikes in kind of thing, or are people yeah, doing like one day. Most people doing day hikes. Uh huh. Yeah. So the parking at, e at Eagle was crazy. We went today. Yes, it was. It must have been at least a mile yes, uh, yeah. around away from out of the outside of the trailhead. Yeah. No. Yeah. E Eagle. They do uh, trailhead outreach at Eagle. They'll get yeah. over a thousand people a day. At, yeah. Well, well, on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they have a team of like three or four who work there. Let's see. Right now, I've got one sixty nine, but it's just and it's, me. And it's it's uh, eleven thirty. Yeah. Oh, not quite eleven thirty. Yeah. On a Saturday. Yeah. So, and you're saying this is the most heavily uh, visited wilderness heavily used, area right. in the continental U.S.? Yes. And this, so is this part of the original 1964 uh, yes, it is. declaration? So yes. it's one of the originals? Yes, okay. it is. Okay, right. cool. Good for you. Awesome. Any other cool things you want to share with the uh, folks, my students? Buy this I am gonna. I'm still gonna buy it. I'm not gonna forget. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I was gonna give you guys a tip as well. I was gonna give you a tip as well. That's, like, That's right. good because it all goes to wilderness rangers. That's Excellent. hysterical. Wait, I've got you loaded up with all this good stuff.